All right, we got a Cooper Hawk drying off. We're getting the front side. Look at the bands on that tail. Got his wings out. What a beautiful bird. Yep, it's drying off the feathers after bath or after a foggy night. So, how so yellow those feet are. It's adult Cooper. And we're enjoying this bird very much. It's happened to be on our run here today. And found this beautiful bird all spread out. Tail fan, the underside of the wings. And you can see the color on the chest there. Adult Cooper Hawk. All fanned out and drying. We have pretty good lighting too, so. We're just making our rounds. Just very happy to found him. Looking for other birds too. A lot of ducks in the area. And a few small birds. A lot of food for this one here. Likes wintering out here. A lot of starlings. Maybe looking around a little bit. Maybe drying up. Is very alert. Keeping an eye out for any opportunity to catch some food. Now he's looking straight at me. But I'm. Uh, using the window mount on my car so that's kind of my blind and the birds aren't afraid of cars so they'll sit right there and let me make the video look at those beautiful bars on that tail that a tail the feathered condition is absolutely perfect and you can see what we talk about the short wings on the occipiters here that's what cooper hawks are occipiters with the short wings and they got those beautiful markings and bars on the wings also. There she's looking. Oh yeah, fanned out full now. Look at that. This is just absolutely wonderful. We've been wanting to get a front side like this, so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy this. Look how yellow those feet are. This is a healthy bird. We saw another adult Cooper Hawk in another location today, so we're hoping to see several of them. Oh yeah, working on them breast feathers. A very content, happy bird. It's a great spot for bird watching. We're out in Washington. This is the kind of stuff we get here. My goodness. Couldn't ask for better lighting. Perfect display on the tail and the wings, and printing activity. Oh yeah, she's really putting on a show now. Really got them spread out. Sun's come in a little more intent. She just really enjoying that. Really displaying that tail. It is really looking good. Look at that. Spread as far as she can. The light coming through. What a great day to be here. Yep. Got our Cooper Hawk drying off and complete display. The tail, the wings, the chest. Oh my goodness. How lucky can you get? Right, looking over her shoulder a little bit. Oh yeah, the mane here is trying to dry off. It was really foggy this morning and damp and she's getting her feathers all dried off and ready for the day. And the tail is just in perfect condition too. But we like it when we find from this side posing like this. My goodness. Oh yeah. We're watching for the other birds in the area. We saw our Peel's Peregrine earlier. He was on the tank at Phillips 66. And we drove down here and uh, I just finished up with him and found this one. What a great bird. Alright. Ah, here he is. He moved over here now. Likes hopping from one limb to the next. You can 
You see that little white chevron on his wing. Yeah, his leg all stretched out and relaxed. And a happy camper here. <laughs> and he looks down there at the canal. A constant eye out for food. Well, he's kind of looking over his back now. And just keep an eye on the whole thing here. He hunts this canal. He's been here for a couple of weeks now, so we've been uh, keeping a close eye on him. Oh, good profile there. Look at that, would you? We have beautiful sky today, just crystal clear. Oh, yeah. He's, looks like, oh, yeah, he's getting ready to do something here. There he goes. He saw something. He just, uh, Decided to kind of sit along here and look for food in the sunshine and warm up a little bit. Beautiful blue sky. I always enjoy it when we find this guy. I've seen him off and on over the past week or so, but I've been busy with other projects. So today we had some blue sky. I thought, well, put in a good effort. And I drove all the areas that he's supposed to be, and sure enough, here he is. He's in a great position, too, because we get to see all the beautiful markings on his back, his feathers, and his tail. Now he's looking over towards the canal. Still checking it out. Over one wing, then the next. Looking over his back there. Good looking bird. Been hanging around here for a while. There he goes. Oh yeah, I flew over here now. Got some really good lighting on him now. Look at the colors. Sun is coming in absolutely perfect. Red-shouldered hawk. We've been checking him out. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's just uh, checking his little field below him. And he's decided that uh, he's going to come over here and hunt. He just flew over here and it's better lighting for us. Now you can really see the stripes on his tail. All the great markings on the back of his wings and the coloring on his head. Look how intent he's looking. Oh yeah, he's at the perfect spot for hunting here. And the chest feathers, look at that. He's going to preen up a little bit. How great is that? We found our red-shouldered hawk again. Oh, yeah, look at that tail. He's going to preen. Look. We're always excited when we get to see that. He's really showing his stuff. Look how yellow those legs are. What a magnificent bird. How lucky is that? Come down, sunshine like this, and get him all preening up. Showing his tail and all his markings, scratching up. Oh, yeah. What a wonderful bird. He's going to settle down now. He's looking around here for something to catch. Look at him look. Oh, yeah. He's checking everything that moves in that little field right below him. Oh, he turned around here now. Oh, yeah. He's going to preen up in this direction and show us his breast feathers now. How oh, lucky is that? Look how yellow those feet are. Scratching his head a little bit. My goodness. We certainly like this. Now oh, he's going to get down there and do the breast feathers. You see a little white on his head, too, when he gets a certain direction there. Now, we really like those markings on the wings and the tail. And you get him preening up. My goodness. Well, we're certainly glad we came down here. 
been checking out several other birds today and uh, really happy to find this guy in this place. Oh yeah, he's doing his feathers, preening up. Saw some crows and other things close by, but they've accepted him now because uh, they've seen him so much. He's, uh, they know this is his territory too, so they don't bother him like they used to. Oh yeah, he's still hunting now. We're keeping an eye on him. Look at this guy. Beautiful sunlight. I'll come in a little bit more, I think. There he is. Now you can really see the details on his face and his wings. Excellent lighting. Sun is coming in at the perfect angle. And he's hunting that little patch of grass right below him. It's like somebody's yard. Well, he kind of flinched there for a second. Oh, yeah, still posing. He watches every movement in the grass. I'll give this a little profile shot there. Oh, it's our juvenile red-shouldered hawk. Been hanging around here for quite a while. Oh yeah, now he's really looking. There he goes on the hunt. Look at him go. I'll well, try a close-up. Look at that eye, would you? My goodness, it's a good looking bird. Oh yeah, how you thinking about one big off of it? Let's see what he's up to. Look at this guy. How cool is that? There he well, here's that beautiful red-shouldered hawk everybody's been trying to find. I just happened to be lucky and get him. There he goes. He's on the hunt again. Oh yeah, I flew over here now. And he landed in this tree. He's found a better spot to hunt a little bit. He got a few twigs in the way, but you can get a good view. Look at this beautiful sky. Yeah, he's sitting up here. Crows are giving him a break. They were chasing him. But he's been really hunting this morning. Getting all over the place. I've chased him several places now. Oh yeah, I see something. There he goes. Oh yeah, he landed over here now. A little peace and quiet from the crows. Every time he flies, they're on him, so... Anyway... He's looking really good. We thought he was uh, left the area, but we're happy to see that he's still here. Oh yeah, he's happy. Look at him twitting his tail there, sitting up here in a nice perch in the sunshine, trying to keep warm. Beautiful markings on his breast feathers. Look at that. Oh yeah, he's in a good spot today where we're going to observe him. I saw him earlier in his regular spot down by the Animal Adoption Center and I just got a glimpse so I started following him around and by golly it worked out. So we're happy to find this guy. Oh yeah. You can hear the crows, they're going crazy. Well, he's going to give us a profile here, look at this. Uh, this is quite the endurance, it was 12 degrees this morning so for him to still be here. I hadn't seen him in a few days. I thought, well, maybe he's left the area. It's too cold, but uh, nope, he's still here. Oh, yeah. It's our red-shouldered hawk. Oh, we'll get a scratch up there. It's posing, looking really good. Oh, yeah. Look at the markings on the side of his feathers there, those white spots. He's really a colorful bird. And are preening up a little bit. We like that. He's going to put one foot up, keep that warm, and 
Then when the other foot can't take it anymore, he'll put that one down and switch. <laughs> well, we like coming down here, we find this guy. Let's go come in a little more. Close up on him. There he is. Look at that eye. They're quite a, his hackles up a little bit. Oh well, yeah, he's still on the hunt looking around. But you can see the highlight in his eye there, in his beak. All the great markings on him. Back over here, we'll get full view of him again. He's alert though, look at him look, he's hungry. He's uh, always constantly thinking about breakfast here. Looking at his crop, he may have had a little snack this morning. Alright, looking this way now. Always looking down towards that canal. It's a little canal that runs to the east from the Humane Adoption Center. And that's where he's in these trees along there, that's where he hunts. Alright. Always oh, going to preen now. We like it when they preen. Oh yeah, look at this guy. Look at those beautiful markings on that wing. All in order there. My goodness. Twitsy's tail. This is a happy bird here today. Well, you can see some of the stripes on his tail. They're more visible from the back. But the very distinct thin white stripes on their tail. He's got his hackles up in the back of his head. It's kind of funny. Every time I see him, he's got them up like that. He's got those beautiful markings on his chest, too. We're very happy to have found him today. He's in a great location. The sun's on our back, and it's, everything looks pretty good. A nice blue sky. We got a light breeze. Oh yeah, scratching up there. You can tell it's not a red tail when they fly. They fly a little quicker. And uh, I've gotten uh, used to it now. I've seen many reds fly, of course, but you can always tell there's a distinct difference. They're a little bit quicker beat to them. Oh, well, we'll see. He's found him a great spot here. There's nobody bothering him now. Like I said before, the crows are right on him, and they've uh, left him alone. But he's been here so long now that actually they're kind of getting used to him. That's the way it is in the animal world. Oh, great profile there. Look at that. You can see his feathers blowing. Oh, yeah. But anyway, that works out good. The crows have gotten used to him. And, you know, when he flies, they come around, and they go on their own way. But that's just the way it works out. It's good for him and it's good for me too. Now he'll sit a little tighter here and I can get some good video. Well, maybe I'll try some still shots of this guy. Oh yeah. Well, here's our Peels Peregrine Falcon again. We got heavy traffic today. He's down here by the tank farm. You can see him turn his head and looking over here. We're getting him from the back side. But this is the juvenile Peel's Peregrine Falcon we've been following for the past few days. And we're happy to see him here again. I'm going to try to move around and see if I can get him from the front side. But he's found a nice limb to sit on here. And he's at Southwest 27th Street. And Lind Avenue Southwest, right on the corner, Renton, Washington. And he's hunting these pigeons that uh, hang out at this tank farm. They roost there. Oh, now he's going to stretch. Look at that, would you? But uh, there are pigeons on these Philip 66 tank farms. They roost there, and he's discovered that he can get fed here. And that's why he's hanging out. Oh, he's a good looking bird, and he's not too nervous, so. We're happy about that. I'll see if I can uh, try a little close-up on him. He's going to preen now a little bit. We like that. We're getting from the back side doing his tail here. 
He's a good looking bird. I think we discovered him on Christmas Day and uh, all right looks like he's gonna clean up a little more we like it when we get him preening we're getting better sunlight now he wants to do a nice preen job here we have a nice perch today, nice tree here, right next to the tank farm. There we go. We don't get too many Peel's Peregrine Falcons here. And that's why we're all excited about this juvenile. Very dark, but really an interesting bird. And he is just hanging out every day here by this Philip 66 tank farm because there's pigeons that roost on there and he's made a kill and he feeds on them. So he's found him a food source here. And we also have the Springbrook Trail just all oh, right next to him here and that's a nature walk. There's a lot of ducks on that on the waterway and is a good source of food for him there. We've had peregrines in the past hang around here for three or four months hunting so he has every opportunity to catch ducks in this area and pigeons and many starlings as many places to hunt here. Oh yeah he looks like a happy camper he's just going to preen up here and just do a wonderful job. He's showing off a little bit looking over here and we're happy about that. We came down fairly early to, as soon as the fog lifted. So we wanted to get in on the Christmas bird watch. It's the 28th. And we'll pass our information on to other bird watchers today so they can come and find this guy. All right, got a little better sunlight now. He's still enjoying his perch. He's been sitting here for a while, so I think he's probably had something to eat. Oh yeah, look at them eyes. He's alert now. He's looking down at me. I'm very close. And he just uh, decided that this limb here is where he's going to spend most of the day here. So I think yesterday he fed really well on pigeon. And He's just kind of taking her easy today. I'll try to get a couple different angles on him. But I like our sunlight now. You can see it's uh, coming in pretty good. Oh yeah, he's looking down at me now. Okay then, I'll see if I can get another position. There's our close-up. Looking right at me now. Look at that eye. Yeah. You can, uh, when he looks over here again, you can see his mailer stripe on his cheek and then the white part under his eye has got some markings. That's how you can tell one of the markings of the Peel's Peregrine. And of course the breast feathers are really dark. But that white that goes up behind his eye has got some markings right next to that mailer stripe. Oh yeah. Well, he's giving us a good close-up here. He's an interesting bird. Look at the highlights in them eyes. He's a happy camper. He's looking every which way. All right. Oh, yeah, he's stretching now. Look at this guy. Oh, what a beautiful bird. Look at that. Well, he's stretching out. He's feeling good. He's enjoying the sunshine now. Oh, he's obviously has eaten well. He's just kind of resting up. He's looking over his shoulder here, seeing what's going on. We've got a little better sunlight now, so 
I thought I'd run a little bit from this angle here. We're going to keep an eye on this guy here. Oh, he's going to preen up now. Well, we've been following for the last few days, and uh, he's pretty predictable. He likes this area here now, and uh, he's uh, catching prey, and that's why he's hanging out. Oh, yeah, this is our juvenile Peels Peregrine. Oh, he's looking up. I wonder what he's trying to see there. We've been seeing a lot of birds of prey, Cooper Hawks. And we got a little bit of traffic today, but it doesn't seem to bother this guy. He's gotten used to it here. He's at the tank farm, the Phillips 66. Trucks go in and out, and it doesn't bother him. We got some pigeons that roost on the tanks and he flies between them and he catches a pigeon now and then so he's had good luck. Really, really an interesting bird. We don't get a lot of the uh, Peels peregrines here. In fact this is the first one that I got to uh, make a video of. You can see how long those wings are. My goodness. When he took off the other day and was ringing up, man, those wings looked really long. And he was very agile. It didn't take him no time to get up there. He's got his mind on something there. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He's on the hunt now. Just checking everything out. Very alert. Beautiful blue sky. My goodness. Oh yeah, he's just looking everywhere. He's kind of keeping an eye out for that red tail he was making a fuss earlier. There's one red chase another one, so he flew from his first perch over here and uh, Keeping an eye on everything now. He didn't want to mix it up with a red tail, and I don't blame him. But they're all getting used to him because he's been here long enough now they kind of know it's his territory. He shows up every day, he hunts here, and he kind of roosts up here. So after the birds see him enough to get used to it. A little Peel's Peregrine Tearsel here. Good looking bird been hanging around for many many days now oh yeah he's checking things out looking down I can hear the geese calling now they're flying by and got this guy woke up now he's paying attention think oh yeah good profile there look at that He's watching everything in the sky and everything that flies up and down the creek here. And he's paying close attention. Alright then, I think we're just going to have to call that about good. He's just looking up. We must see that red tail sailing up there. Well, here's our buddy. He's just checking everything out. Turned around a little bit now so we can get him to uh, see some of his breast feathers. He's kind of looking down at the Springbrook Creek. Got that eye just checking everything out. Beautiful blue sky and Birds have woke up now, and he's keeping an eye on everything around here. See his big eye there? He looks down below me, and that's the, uh, below him is the Springbrook Creek. There's a few ducks swimming, and he's watching them. And the robins and the morning doves and other birds are moving around. He's keeping an eye on those also. He's down here uh, getting ready to kind of rest up and go get himself something to eat here. He's just waiting for the weather to warm up a little bit. 
beautiful blue sky. And I'm shooting up all oh, about 45 degrees in this big cottonwood that he has selected for his perch. And uh, I'm right on the little bridge there that goes over the Springbrook Creek. And he looks down, looks for the ducks. If the ducks fly, he can just sail right down here and chase them right down the canal. And there's plenty of places off the side for all the other little birds he can hunt. And pigeons over by the Philp 66 tank farm. He's just kind of resting up here, it looks like. We'll give him a little break here. Well, the crows kind of give up on him and he's able to kind of sit up here and give us a profile shot and enjoy it now. He's looking over his wing there, to the right and the left. Checking everything out. You can see the breeze is picking up. You see that feather blowing by him. Oh yeah. Maybe he'll scratch up a little bit. Got his feathers all fluffed out now, so the weather's warming up and he's enjoying the sunshine. Giving us a pretty good view of him. That's a good sized cottonwood right above Spring Brook, right next to the trail. And he's been here for quite a while today and uh, I've came back several times and checked on him. But he seems to be enjoying it. Saw a lot of the other birds around. A couple of red tails earlier were hollering and flying around and the crows are bothering this guy a little bit. But they gave up because he's not moving. He says, this is my area and I'm going to hang out here. Oh yeah, he's very content. Juvenile Peel's Peregrine Falcon. In his big cottonwood tree. Enjoying the blue sky and the warmer temperatures now. Oh yeah, look at the highlights in his eye. He's really checking it out. He's enjoying it. He can see anything that moves there. Like I said, that's a good perch. You can see anything within a block either way. And you look up and down that Seuss, or that Springbrook Creek hiking trail and that ducks fly up and down the waterway there, the canal. So that's a good source of food for him. And then of course there's pigeons and starlings and everything else around here. And there he is. He's uh, always alert for the opportunity to catch something to eat. He's taking it easy now, but anything got close and the opportunity would arrive, boom, he would be right on it. I saw him fly out of here. He is very quick. Alrighty. Oh yeah, showing off now a little bit. Watching everything. He's a good looking bird. He looked kind of straight at me and just kind of looking around making sure nothing's a threat. He's uh, just uh, weathering out, sunning himself. Had a good feed and looking straight down here now. Now he's looking up again. So he sees that Cooper fly over and he wants to keep a sharp eye on that. He don't want to be surprised. Oh, there's a few reds in the area. And this uh, particular spot where he is today is, is actually a red tail spot. Oh, look at that. He's going to stretch out now. Check this out. Look at that. See how long those wings are on that foot? Oh, yeah. See, he's feeling good. He's stretching, getting all squared away. Yeah, he had a good feed, so he's just kind of resting. Well, that's good for him to do that. Give us a little show there, looking down. He's just kind of going to scratch up. Look at him scratch his face now. What a good looking guy. <laughs> we like it when they show off like this, I'll tell you. He got his foot up there. He's going to clean up his talons a little bit. Oh, yeah. 
You can tell by his crop now again, he's just really full. Look at that, stretch the other way. Look at that, would you? Gee whiz. He's kind of a little camera ham here, isn't he? We like that. When it shows off like that, that's good. Look at that sunlight coming in. Oh yeah, there you go. He's stretching that foot out now. You can see the feathers on his talons still, so. Whatever it was, he got some kind of a bird today for his lunch. Oh, yeah. Well, we're glad we came through here today. And again, we're right along that uh, Springbrook Creek Canal. And at the other end of the boardwalk. Opposite end of the tank farm, and that's where he's at. He's down here, he caught something to eat, and he's just thoroughly enjoying it. Sunning himself. Wiggling back and forth, adjusting his crop now. He's at his stretch. Oh, yeah. Again, I'm admiring that feather pattern on his chest. That's uh, really a tight pattern, uh, typical for the juvenile Peels Peregrine. And there he is. He's adjusting that crop again. He's got so full, he doesn't know quite what to do. <laughs> Trying to get comfortable. Yeah, he's a great bird. We like it when he stretches and preens like that, so. There he is, he's readjusting it. He looks pretty content. All right. See her walk around. I think she's gonna fly out of the nest. There she's hopped up on her limb. Now that's her perch right next to the nest. She'll hang out there and call to the mate. He'll bring in some more sticks. As you can see, compared to her, that's a good-sized nest. I'll come back in a little bit. There we are. Oh, yeah, there she goes. Here comes our eagle in with a stick. All right, look at that. She brought in a branch. How cool is that? Look at that. I'm going to work on the nest. Oh, we got good filtered light today. Oh. My, they're working on the nest. Well, when the weather's good, they keep repairing it, so that's good. This is the nest, the end of James Street, Kent, Washington. Oh, yeah, I come in a little more here. There we are. Yeah, she's busy working on the nest today. Maybe we'll see the mate come in with his donation. I'll zoom out a little bit. Sorry, put the stick in. See, it's a good sized nest. Got excellent spot right on the curve here. There, she's going to come up here on the limb, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's looking around, trying to figure out where she's going to get her next stick. And we're hoping to see her mate come in. He's coming in now with a stick. I'll back off a little bit. So they're working on the nest, the two of them. Here, we got one in, here he comes. All right, check that out. Brought that stick in. Two eagles working on the nest. My goodness. How cool is that? Yeah, they're getting it all squared away here. They're just busy. You can see it's a good sized nest. Well, when you get a nice day like this, you can see it's a good sized stick they're weaving in there. And uh, by the time it's nesting season, they'll have this all tidied up and looking good. A lot of people don't know they work on it, you know, almost uh, around the clock, around the calendar here. But uh, they find the proper stick to do a little repair and get it all squared away. And I'll come in a little more. Well, there they are, both of them in there working. Oh yeah, they're just weaving it in there now. Look at this stick here. How cool is this? <laughs> They're trying to decide one wants it here and one wants it over there, so 
This will give you a good idea how the behavior goes on arranging these sticks in there. Oh, we like it down here. We get a lot of good videos here. Oh yeah, they're tugging and adjusting there. Look at that. Yeah, they're just busy. What a wonderful day to come down here and catch these eagles working on the nest. The size of them wings. Isn't that something? What a majestic birds. Yeah, they want to put that one over there and the other one wants it over here, so. Well, we'll keep an eye on them. We're liking this. Yeah, they're working away here and uh, running a good video on this. Now he's packing the stick back in there, looking really good. Got both of them up here working on the nest. And uh, now he's got his wings out. Maybe we'll see him fly away. It looks like a great video here. Getting a good soundtrack on it. Got the two love birds in the nest working. Oh yeah, that's a good sized stick they brought in there. And they're getting it all arranged then. And they're happy with the way they arrange that stick in there. <laughs> Quite a time. One wanted at one place and one wanted the other. But they made their decision now and they're sitting in here happily and uh, we'll just keep an eye on them a little bit. Maybe we'll see them fly out for the next stick. Oh yeah. They had a little mishap with their egg this last spring, so they didn't get any youngsters. So they'll be ready for this next nesting cycle. They're working on it, doing a fine job. Oh, yeah, they're just working away here and enjoying it. I like that filtered light, and we like it too. Got that stick all woven in there. One keeping an eye on the other one. Sometimes they can't decide exactly where to put that stick, but they get it in there. They make a decision and weave it in, so. This is our pair of bald eagles in Kent, Washington. Down there by the River Bend Golf Course. It's a great nest. There's no sticks in the way, and we can really, oh yeah, look at those wings. There he goes, flying out. Going after another stick, probably. She's just kind of looking at him. All right, we'll come back in a little bit. There we go. So they're busy with the nest building today, or repairing. That's uh, that's some pretty good weather, and they're taking the opportunity to get everything squared away. So she'll sit here and wait for him. He's over in the tree, I think, breaking off another stick. So we'll keep an eye on him. Well, here comes our eagle in with another stick. We'll see how he does here. I'll back off so we get the landing. He's bringing in a stick to her right now. All right, there he landed in there with it. Look at that. We'll see how. We'll see how they're doing on that. Oh yeah, they're weaving it in there now. Now he was over in the other cottonwood tree and he's breaking off a limb. He was up in the tree limb there and he snapped off what he could get and he just brought it here. They brought a couple already today and they've been working out pretty good. They'll come in a little closer here. Oh yeah, there we are. Now we're into the tidying up the nest and weaving in a few sticks again. And we like this filtered light. I can just show their yellow beaks and the white on their head. It doesn't wash out with sunlight then. All right, I got one behind the other one now. We do see a lot of ducks and stuff flying up and down the river too. But they're uh, more into eating the salmon. And they had a good salmon run this year, and they really had plenty to eat. Oh yeah, we got both their heads there, but you can see how big that nest is. My goodness. 
Oh yeah, I hear they're going to work with a stick and talk about it. And one wants it here and one wants it over there. And it gets kind of funny sometimes watching them trying to make the decision where to weave in that stick. <laughs> oh yeah, they work on it. They're doing a great job. We saw a kestrel fly by earlier and, and the other day we saw a merlin. In fact, saw two merlins in the area, so we're keeping an eye out for them too. You can see the breeze is picking up a little bit. The leaves are blowing, and, but they got their mind on weaving that stick in there, getting everything squared away. All right then. Yeah, here's our peregrine on the Boeing Aerospace Building. Doing a close-up, she's watching all the activity. You can see from her crop, she's already had something to eat. That's what she does. She'll get up on this perch and just kind of relax. I'll back off a little bit so you can... There you go. Now on this building, there's several of these perches, and she picks the ones, whichever is in the sunshine. But she sleeps on this every night. And uh, a lot of activity today. But it doesn't bother her. She's the resident peregrine falcon here. Winter's out on the building every year. Every winter now. And uh, I've been doing it for about three years. I could get really close today. You can see by her crop, she's had something to eat. Now behind me are the new warehouses they built. And they just, from scratch right up, and it never even bothered her. All that construction, she sat here and watched the whole thing. We got those bright eyes. There she goes. Look at that. Flapping her wings a little bit. Looks like she's uh, thinking about maybe taking off. A lot of activity in the area. What a good looking bird. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Now she's going to scratch up a little bit. We like coming down here and finding her. We know most of her places. Oh, yeah. Now, the male, he sleeps on the corner behind the ladder. I haven't seen him today. She's looking really good here. And I think she's just going to rest because she's had quite a bit to eat. Oh, yeah. I thought she was going to fly there for a minute, but I think she's just going to take it easy. All right. Look at the yellow around her eyes. She is a good looking bird. And she can get out of the wind too by going to either one of these perches here. But she's on the one facing west today. So we'll call that good. Well, here's our peregrine falcon. He flew over on the light pole now. He was over here trying to correct the red tail. But he came over here and I got fairly close, so we're going to keep a little eye on him now and see what he's up to. We've got filtered light. And a little bit of a breeze now. But he was over there displaying or doing some aerial maneuvers around the female. He's Came back from where he was. We've been waiting for him to show up here at the wintering spot. And he just showed up. First time we've seen him. We've been watching every day for a couple of weeks. And uh, he's finally showed up here and was uh, flying and buzzing her. And so they were getting along just fine. And we're happy to see that he's back. And he was uh, dive bombing a red tail. And he sat up in the tree for a while and kept an eye on the ducks. And here he is. He came over on the light pole now. I've seen him on this pole before. But it's right by the pond and you can see the ducks. And he's in the perfect spot for hunting. So we'll uh, spend a little time here and see what he's up to. Good looking bird though, it's, they've been here for several years with the Boeing Aerospace Facility in Kent, Washington. The road makes a curve and there's a pond there and he's right on the light pole, right there at the end of the curve. With the 
59 Place South and 62 Avenue South, Kent, Washington. That's exactly where he is. All right. Well, we'll check him out. Well, here's our peregrine falcon still looking around. Looks like she may be hungry. Oh, she's going to stretch out a little bit, I think, and relieve herself. And she'll probably check around here, see what she's up to. She may be ready to fly. She's really looking intent now. Come in a little bit more. Maybe we can see her on the takeoff here. She's getting all horizontal. She's looking down, watching the construction workers. Usually after they relieve themselves, then they fly away, so. She's still looking, yeah, she's getting ready, I think. <laughs> I hear the crows hollering, they know she's about ready to take flight, I think. I have seen her in the past take a crow, so. They're on the menu, oh, yeah, look at them wings out, here we go. Spread them out a little bit. Getting working them a little bit, getting ready to fly, showing off. Whoop, almost. Look at that. A little bit of exercise in the wings out there. That's interesting. There she tucked them back in. I'll be darned. Got a good chance to see that heart shape when she puts the wings out and folds them back in. Oh yeah. Now she's sitting there looking good. I'll come back in a little bit. There we are. And again, we're down at the Boeing Aerospace Facility in Kent, Washington, just a little ways from the KOA campground. And this is our resident Peregrine Falcon up on her radio tower. That's her lookout, and she's checking everything out. And she sleeps on the building down by the Boeing Pond. So, we'll call that good then. Gonna preen up a little bit. Get himself all spruced up here on the pole. All those feathers squared away. And we like it when we find him preening. I can't get over how beautiful this blue sky is. We've got the perfect lighting now. We'll just watch him for a while. She's at. She's probably up on the building there. We got a good profile shot on him that time. Oh yeah, now he might do his tail for us. Oh, a stretch. Look at that, would you? My goodness, that's nice. We like that. We can stretch this way. Look at him stretch. Oh my, how beautiful that is. Well, how lucky can you get to get a shot like that? Peregrine Falcon checking everything out. Look at how alert he looks now. He's probably ready to take off. Well, he's going to put his foot up again. And we certainly enjoyed that. He's watching that airplane again, that model airplane. Oh, beautiful black, yellow around his eyes. Look at that. Alright, look how big those feet are. Oh, now he's going to preen that tail. Look at that, would you? I like it when he cleans up like that. We're so lucky to have this spot here to watch these birds. You get blue sky like this, my goodness. He's going to get all those feathers preened up, just showing off just beautiful for us. And they're also following a red-shouldered hawk in the area. So we're just kind of making the rounds and uh, following this guy sitting here. Well, it looks like he's going to work on those feathers a little more. And keep an eye on that model airplane. We 
drove by the Boeing Aerospace building looking for his mate, the female, but she wasn't up on there, so. We'll go ahead and make the rounds here and see if she's down hunting ducks, maybe down by Frager Road South and 204th. That's just on the west side of the Green River. Oh, he's looking alert now. He's looking all over. I think he sees his mate. There, yeah, I think she flew over. She's dive bombing. Or something's dive bombing. Might be a some falcon but that's what's going on well, there's our peregrine she's been calling I think she's looking for the mate she's right on one of the poles light poles down by the Boeing Aerospace building and hopefully we'll get her calling again she's not far from where she goes to take her bath so she was on the corner of the building calling and she sailed over here and she was calling and then now we're waiting to see if she's going to go take her bath. But definitely making the e-chirp noise. Like there you go. They do that when they hand off food and that's their mating call also. So she's looking for her mate. He must be back in the area. How interesting is that? But this pair will winter out on the Boeing Aerospace Building. We do that every winter. Where they nest in the spring, we don't know. They go away and, uh, and after nesting season they come back here. But this is the female. We can tell by how our markings are on her head. The male, he, his is more like just a football helmet. His white stripe doesn't go too far up by the eye. so. Anyway, she's uh, given us a pretty good show today, and we're glad to find her. We're going to keep a close eye on her, and if she goes over and takes a bath, well, we'll go over and try to get a video of that. Oh, yeah. We'll get a little close-up on her now. Look at that eye. Isn't that fantastic? Oh, yeah, she's looking every which way. She's trying to locate that mate. She must have seen him fly by, and she's been calling. Look at those big eyes, a beautiful yellow around her sear. Look at that. What a magnificent bird. We get excited every time we find them. This is really a hot spot to find the peregrine almost every time we come down here. The Boeing Aerospace Building by the pond right there in Kent, Washington. They sleep on the building every night. They hang out in the area and we usually get a good video. Look at that. There she is. Keeping a close watch on this gal. You can see the winds pick up. Oh, there she goes. Well, we moved over to this location, a little bit different angle. She looks content. Enjoying the afternoon sunshine. Yeah, we're enjoying watching her. I haven't seen much prey in the area. There's a lot of ducks on the west side of the Green River. She hunts over there. But she may have already got fed enough today and is just kind of taking it easy. We're more interested in her calls making some good calls earlier. And we're hoping to record that again. She's uh, over here by her favorite bathing spot now. This is just a big uh, cleared field right down by the Boeing Aerospace and she can see a long ways away and the water's right there in the middle. But she's so used to seeing my car that we don't make her nervous at all. I got the camera set on my window mount and I'm shooting from the car and uh, she's just sitting there checking everything out in the area. Let's see if I can zoom in a little closer. There we are. 
really get some detail on their eye and her feathers now. Beautiful gray on the back there and the bars on her chest. She's really got her head going now. Let's see what she's up to. Check this up, my head. She sees something. Oh yeah, she's moving her head around. She's looking around, We're getting ready to take her bath. Oh, she's going to scratch a little bit. Look how yellow her feet are. She's in good health. A healthy looking peregrine. Look how big and bright those eyes are. Well, they're a joy to watch. We come down to this area, we usually get lucky and can find them. Today we actually saw her on the building, then on the pole, and flew over here. We're all excited about it. Oh yeah, she's going to preen up a little bit here. Look at that. Yeah, she's getting her feathers preened up. She does a lot of bathing in this place also. She gets done, she hops back up on this rock and dries off. So. She decides to scratch up a little bit and preen. Just enjoying the sunshine on her rock. We'll hang out here until she decides to take a bath. She surveys everything in the area. Now here's our peregrine falcon in the water. Thinking about taking the bath. She waded out to where it's halfway deep. She was on her favorite light pole. There she got a little drink. And I think she's wanting to take a bath. And I want to make a movie of it. Oh yeah, she's bobbing in there now. Let's see what happens here. Scratching up a little bit. She uh, cruised every night on the Boeing Aerospace Building. and uh, Oh yeah, look at her bathe now. Bobbing around a little bit. Having a good time. Yeah, she obviously had caught something to eat earlier a little bit. She was on her light pole. And I'd made a small move in. Oh yeah, look at her bobbing and splashing out. And she decided to fly down here and take a bath. I'm all excited about it. I've been filming the Peregrine Falcon here at the Boeing Aerospace Building for a few years. I've never caught her bathing. I actually got fairly close now, so we're having filtered light. This should come in very good. She's got big eyes she's got there. And she's actually used to people where she roosts, they're working around there with the uh, road equipment and digging and the, the noise doesn't seem to bother, so oh yeah, she works really well with the people. I'm actually shooting from my car window. I have a window mount from my camcorder. So the car serves as a blind. I can get fairly close and uh, I've got a clamp to the window and she's here just taking a little bath and looking around. Actually, she's making a very good movie for us. She's not really getting into the bath vigorously, but she is bathing. Yeah, she's fluffing around a little bit. This is the female. We're still waiting for the male to return here. He winters out here too, but he's late this year, so we are a little bit concerned about that. There she's getting another little drink. Maybe she'll bob in the water again. They like to stay cleaned up because they're a raptor. They eat meat, and blood is a contaminant, so they need to stay uh, fastidious and clean. So it helps keep down on the diseases. Well, I think we're going to call that good then. We've got a pretty good movie here of her, and it doesn't look like she's going to get really into her bath too much. Just a little cleanup. So we'll call that good then, and enjoy the video. Oh, yeah, look at her stretch. 
a great looking bird. Oh yeah, showing us those wings. What a beautiful bird. Yeah. Getting their feathers in shape, just kind of sitting up here. Oh yeah, she's going to preen up them feathers now. You like it when they preen. There we go, get a little closer there. You can see she's molding her tail feathers, they're coming in. That's why they got different lengths on them. Oh yeah, she's just going to preen up here and do a little makeover. Getting under her wing now. Yeah, this is her bath area. She's got to preen up them feathers now that she's had her little bath. Oh, look at the size of them feet. Oh, yeah. yeah big feet for catching prey. The things they hunt are so much bigger than they are a lot of times, like a duck, and uh, those are her weapons. Oh, yeah. Back off just a little bit. There we are. She's just preening up here. There's a lot of little prey birds in the area. Many starlings and juncos. She can sit up here and preen up her feathers. And any opportunity, if a bird gets too close, she'll fly out and get it. Oh yeah, she's going to do her breast feathers now. It's finishing up. Look how long them wings are they? Almost to the very tip of her tail when she's got them all folded back. They got that beautiful gray feathers on the back. And those distinct bars on the feathers on her chest. Really a good looking bird. It's one of my favorite falcons. They just so handsomely colored there. And of course being very fast. But we discovered this bathing spot of hers a while back and we checked it out and when we were going by a day, happened to see her on the pole, so we pulled in and got set up. She usually uh, bathes about the same time of day. Every day she gets cleaned up, comes up here and then uh, gets up on the pole or the rock and dries off. She's uh, fairly used to my car now, so she doesn't get too excited when I try driving up on her. She uh, recognizes it and is not too much concerned about it. But on that perch she's on, she needs a cap on that pipe. It's a PVC pipe. She's right on the edge. I may just go ahead and buy a cap for that and put it on there. <laughs> oh, she's getting her tail now. Look at that. See how beautiful that tail is? My goodness, like I said before, you can see some are different lengths, that's because they're growing in. She's molting now, see. Each year they molt and change their feathers. That's what she's doing. We're hoping to see the male again, he's in the area too. Uh, she likes calling and chirping to him. And, uh, oh, she's looking straight over here again, seeing if I'm still here. <laughs> Alright, you see she's getting under her wing. There you can see how long it is again. Like I say, they have very, very long wings. They're very aerodynamic. They can dive at 275 miles an hour. It's supposed to be the fastest creature on the planet. Peregrine Falcon. Oh, she's doing a real makeover here, getting all preened up checking me out here. I'm going to see if I can get closer now. You can see there's no cap on that pipe. That's going to be kind of hard on her feet. But I'll see if I can buy me a cap for that and put it on there for her. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Here 
there she is looking around. Look at that, would you? We're up close now. What a beautiful bird. Look at that. You can see, you can see the little cones in her nostrils for breaking up the airflow when she's in a high speed dive. What an amazing creature. Oh, yeah. And now she's in the molt. She's getting her new tail feathers and primary feathers. See that dark eye and the yellow around there? It's a very attractive bird. Back up just a little bit. There we go. See the dark eyes, and uh, most falcons have dark eyes. That's one of the identifying markings. And they also have that notch in the beak, right in the middle. And usually a lot of them have that stripe too, called the mylar stripe. We're happy to find her. We're getting some good close-ups and everything. I think she's thinking about maybe flying here. There she goes. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Stretching out here. Look at her crop. She's well fed now. She had some good meal and there she's sinking on me. There she goes. All right. Well, there's our peregrine falcon. Back on the Boeing ledge here, aerospace building. And I think this may be the female. I got to get a good look at her head, the markings on her head. She's looking straight at me now. And I see a little white coming up under her eye, and usually that's the female. And the male has a darker cap, looks more like a football helmet, comes all the way down. So he's kind of looking here, taking it easy, and it's uh, about 4 in the afternoon. From 3.30 to 4 is when they usually come back to the building here. They're done hunting, and that's when they hang around here. So we're lucky to get a good view. I'll try to come in a little more on it. There we go. She's just kind of looking around. Yeah, that's her. I can see the stripe now. So he's off hunting somewhere. And I think this is her. Yep, she's looking all over the place. There's a few little birds soaring by and she's watching them. So we'll keep an eye on her. Good looking bird. Now they disappear every spring. They Go over the hill here to the salt water and we don't know where they nest and as soon as they're done they're back here for all winter again so we enjoy watching them every winter here but again we're at the Boeing Aerospace Building down in Kent Washington just a little ways from the KOA campground there's our peregrine Everybody's in their proper place today. Right on top of the light poles, right on the cap. Checking around the area and looking for something to catch for breakfast here. So the red-shouldered hawk about 20-30 minutes ago down by the Green River National Resource Area. Across right there by the FedEx Delivery Center, across from the Pet Adoption Center, which is uh, has that heron rookery right in the back there in Kent, Washington. Down by the Boeing Aerospace area. That's where we're at. This is one of the peregrines that sleep on the Boeing Aerospace building every night. Oh, looking around here trying to find something to catch. excited about it. We have a regular run here and uh, come down about every day and try to find the birds. Lucky today we found the peregrine and we also saw the red-shouldered hawk over there by the Green River Natural Resource Area. Alright. Let's we'll see if we can locate one of the other ones. Zoomed in now. We'll get a close up of her. Oh, yeah, look at the color on them eyes. My goodness. Back off just a tiny bit. 
There you go. See all that yellow around their eyes and their sear? Peregrine falcon is one of the prettiest uh, birds of prey we got. Look at them dark eyes. Nice gray color on the back. They got a notch in their beak, if you can see that. That's for severing the spinal cord of the prey. They bite them on the neck, and that's what they snap that vertebrae with. That notch, extra notch in the beak there. Oh yeah, she's enjoying it here. Look at that. What wonderful markings white around her throat there and the stripe under her eye the black mark there my goodness a very healthy good-looking bird all right now here's our peregrine falcon she's came down here for a bath walking along here oh yeah she's got the running water Get herself a little drink there. Thinking she might take a bath. Oh yeah, she's gonna have a little bath here. Try to hold this steady. Getting good color on her cheeks here. Zoomed in pretty good. The wind's blowing pretty good, so maybe she's gonna break down and take a bath here. She's in the middle of a field here, so she seems to be enjoying that. We're all excited about it. She's just kind of looking around here. There she is. Got these wonderful markings. This is the female. We can tell by the way the stripe comes up under her eye. The male has an all black cap like a baseball, like a football helmet. There she's bobbing a little bit. She's definitely thinking about maybe she wants to have a bath. And we're all excited about making a movie of it. There she's getting a little drink again. Walking around here. Let's see where she's going to go here. There she is. She was on the light pole earlier. Oh yeah, she bobbed her butt down a little bit. She wants to have a bath. Well, they're a bird of prey and they get blood on their talons and their beak so they got to stay clean you know blood can be contaminating so that's why they keep very clean very fastidious after they bathe after they eat they usually bathe so that's why she's here cuts down on disease good healthy process all oh, the lighting is coming in good i'm impressed with this now it's looking pretty good wind is blowing that water there putting little ripples on it. Oh yeah. She's got a good spot for bathing. She's going out a little deeper I think. Follow her now. Here's see what she's up to. Oh yeah. Trying to select a proper spot. There she gets another drink. Oh yeah. I think we'll call that good then. Well, there's our peregrine falcon. We're down by the Boeing Aerospace Building and she uh, just got done having her bath. And she's sitting on top of a perch here, which is a traffic cone on top of a pole, drying off and rousting. I'm gonna keep an eye on her here. She was on the building earlier. Oh, she's bobbing her head. Looks like she... Oh, yeah, there she goes. Look at that. We'll keep an eye on her, see where she heads. She's going in a big circle here. Well, here's our red tail. He's sitting tight. He don't want the peregrine falcon chasing him. He was uh, dive-bombing him earlier, the peregrine falcon, so... This is a juvenile red, I can tell by the bars on the tail. And he's going to sit tight until that peregrine leaves the area because he knows if he flies out here, that peregrine will be right on him. So the peregrine's over in the other tree now, just kind of keeping an eye on him. 
He dive bombed him about six times, but the red did not move. Oh, he flinched there a little bit. But that uh, peregrine makes him pretty nervous. Well, I think we'll call that good. He's sitting tight now. And he doesn't want to take the chance on making a flight with that peregrine sitting there. Checking everything out. The red tail's not budging from the perch because he knows he can't outfly the peregrine. It's safer for him to stay in the tree. Like I said, he was dive bombing him earlier. Well, this is their territory and they're protecting it. What a good looking bird. We're happy to see him back. Got him in one of the favorite trees here. We get a lot of birds in the tree. We've done merlins and ospreys and blue herons. This is a very popular perch. Now we get the peregrine. Right, so you can see that see the slate gray feathers on his back there and by his legs he's got some barred feathers and notice that the wings almost come to the very tip of the tail they have very long wings there you go all right now i relieved himself he may think about flying here a little bit we always enjoy it when we find him and there he goes he's on the flight he's after the red tail again well, here's our peregrine falcon, sitting on the Boeing Aerospace Building. Looks like she had something to eat. So she's up here, this is on the west side, or facing west. And after she eats and she wants to catch the sunshine, she sits here. Well, we just happen to be driving by. This is the closest we've ever gotten to her. They're building the new buildings right behind me and uh, putting in these warehouses and all this activity hasn't deterred her one bit. This is her place and she's sticking to it. Good looking bird. She's preening up here a little bit. Well, we like to keep an eye on her for our Christmas bird count. Oh yeah, she's scratching up looking good. Look at the size of those feet. My goodness. We like coming here. Oh yeah, she's going to clean up her beak a little bit. She's really looking around now. We'll kind of see what she's up to. seem to bother all the activity here. All right. We'll let her run a while. It seen the male flying around, seen her change perches a couple of times already. But she's been staying close to the nest here, keeping an eye on the youngsters. The male, he's ventured out hunting, so He'll bring her the food, and then she'll fly in and uh, feed the youngsters. But for now, she's preening up. You can hear the youngsters calling. She's getting her feathers all squared away here. What a great day to watch this eyrie. Hopefully, we'll be able to get a video of the male, too, when he comes back. Look at her calling there. You see all her colorful feathers there, and she's alert. Look at her, look around now. She's got an eye out for him. She's going to take this opportunity to preen up, get all her feathers in good shape, get her feet cleaned up. These are our prairie falcon iry, the Canyon Road. I hear the babies calling again. 
She tells him to settle down, won't be too much longer. <laughs> well, they're hungry. They wanted to get something to eat. Well, that's her. That's the female. There's one of our guys. Just came back out of the cave. I think he hears Mama calling. Gonna preen his wing feather up a little bit. We uh, know that the adults have been communicating over here probably about food. We saw him fly down there. Well, this guy got curious and came back to the opening of the eyrie here. He's looking out a little bit. That's one of the adults calling. That's kind of a scolding, I think. This youngster, he's just sitting there. Maybe the other, I can see one behind him now. Yeah, here's one of the adults calling. I think it's probably Mama. Saw one of them fly off the other the other bluff and uh, went hunting. This is the one that's been doing the calling. <laughs> Sounds like a kind of a distress call, probably concerned about the area here, protecting the area. Or could be calling the oven to bring the food. So it is breakfast time and the youngsters are hungry. Gives us a great opportunity to hear their call, so. Well, that's very interesting. Like I said earlier, the other one flew off the other bluff, went down by the river and was cackling down there, so... I think they're communicating about... getting the food ready uh, to deliver to these youngsters. Remember, they got five youngsters to feed. This is... <laughs> and they're good size already, so that's going to take a lot of work. Yeah. There she goes. These are prairie falcons calling. All lined up here right at the entrance to the cave. Here's Chucker over there. Heard some metal arcs earlier. The adult Prairie falcons are flying around hunting. Well, there's one wing in the back. One, two, three, and four in the front here. Three, one in the back there. You can see that movement back in the cave. They got quite a bit of room in there. Got one, two, three, four, and number five will move his wing in the back. See, there you go. One, two, three, four, five. There they are, all five. How cool is that? There he's stirring up the feathers now. Flapping back in the cave hole and the downy feathers are flying. Get to see all five of them in there. Oh, they're talking too. 
Yep, the adults are getting the food ready. Look at them look around. This is absolutely fantastic. Lighting's good today, got all five lined up. The parents should be bringing the food pretty soon. Mama just landed with the food. Poor Papa, he just dropped it off. Well, they're all back in the cave fighting over the food, I guess. Well, that was quick. Well, I hear him in there. We'll see what happens. Well, he's announcing victory. He delivered some breakfast. <laughs> I see a wing flapping, feathers and fuzz flying. They must be fighting over the food in the hiery. I see a flurry of downy feathers coming out. Here's one, he didn't get any, he comes out. Where are we need more food? Yeah, Papa's just talking about it. He's bragging, I brought you something. What an interesting place. Yep, we got to see the male drop off some food. Yeah, well, here's Papa. Or Mama, whichever. This is the one that just dropped off the food, flew over here. Been calling, bragging about the big delivery. Look at a good looking bird. Look at the feathers there. Nice coloration, blends right in with the rocks. That wonderful filtered sunlight today. We got a light cloud cover. Makes it really great for videos. Oh yeah, we're getting a good video of this guy. I'm not sure if this is the male or female. He's certainly doing some calling. <laughs> well, I was trying to communicate with the mate and let him know that I brought some food, where's yours? And the babies are inside there just having a good time eating the food. What a great day to come over. We're getting all kinds of good stuff. Getting the whole feeding cycle here for this morning all the calls and all their activities. I thought I heard the adults over there. But they're out hunting. They've got a big job. They've got to get enough food to feed these five and then themselves. You see, these guys are well fed already. They've got good parents. They've brought plenty of food. There you go. You can see all five again. They're just hanging out. <laughs> I like they got all right out front here in position so when that food comes it'll be a free-for-all then. The sun's getting about ready to come over the edge here. But we'll keep an eye on them as long as we can. It's really peaceful here in the morning, here all the different birds. Hey, here's our pair of bald eagles. She got off the nest. Because the weather finally warmed up so she could take a short break. We know they got eggs in there because... Oh yeah, now they're talking. Yeah, they're talking to each other. And they're all excited because the weather finally warmed up. Oh, they're mating, see? There's eagles mating, look at that. Finally got them mating, yep, they're putting the eggs in the nest and there's your eat two bald eagles mating. So we got here just at the right time, that's fantastic. You very seldom get a shot. Well, here's our pair of bald eagles. We're right next to the golf course on the Maple Valley Highway by the Cedar River Bridge. 
and uh, they're up here working on their nest. And he just flew in there with a stick and they've been weaving them in there and uh, I just happened to be at the right time, right place at the right time and the sunshine had come out so we're good here. And they're just looking around. I have a good angle on the nest here. There's not too many sticks in the way. So I thought, well, I'll come down and check on him. And sure enough, just as I got here, he flew in. And uh, so I got set up and we got him in here. Uh, have a little conversation, a little weeding of the sticks in the nest. So they're enjoying the sunshine. It rained last night. I heard it raining. Finally, the uh, Sun came out and the sky is blue and the bald eagles are just busy. I think he's thinking about getting ready to fly out. And right below him is the Cedar River. There's plenty of fish in there, salmon and everything. So, no, oh, they're going to work a little bit. Yeah, they're serious about it. You can see how deep that nest is. And it's good size. And so with two of them in there, I'll back off a little bit so you get a perspective on it. There you go. You see, it's a good-sized nest. And I'll draw them up again. Coming back in on them now. There we go. But yeah, it's a huge nest. And uh, hopefully they'll have good success. And then uh, we'll be able to make a video of the youngsters this year. It should work out very good. It's in a perfect spot for us. They just drive in and we're very close, so... There's no leaves on there now. Hopefully, uh, later on the season, I think on this side, there's very few limbs. I think there's one. I can probably shoot around it later on. Well, I think I'm going to call that good. I'm like, they're giving me a profile shot. Now, they're very good-looking birds. <laughs> well, we're all excited about it. Got them both in the nest, hauling sticks and weaving them in there. and. Uh, what a great day for a video. And it's almost, uh, like I say, downtown Renton. We're just a little ways out of there. By 140th in uh, the Maple Valley. The male just landed over in the tree right next to the nest. So I'll see if there's any interaction. It didn't look like he had any fish or anything, so. But he is close by. I thought I'd get ready just in case he decides to come over to the nest. There she's preening up her feathers a little bit. Oh yeah, getting them feathers all cleaned up this morning. She's doing all this laying down, so whatever she's got, either eggs or very small babies. She's doing a makeover now. Gives us a good opportunity for a video. There she's looking around. Whenever an airplane goes over, they look, they're very alert. Said the male had flown into the tree next to her and the dead tree. No, oh, he's about 50 feet away over another. Now that's her calling from the nest. We'll see what he does. He may just fly off of here. She's trying to tell him something. I just heard a woodpecker. There he goes again. There's our male bald eagle. Oh, there he goes. Now well, here's mom eagle with her baby. She is head there, and her head in the sunshine. It's like she might be thinking about giving him a little snack here. He's two weeks old. Yeah, he's at least two weeks now. They just have the one chick. All right, look, he's stretching his little wings up there. There his head comes up. Look at this guy. <laughs> he says, Mom, I want me a bite of that. 
He wants a little snack here. Yeah, she's getting a little tidbit for him. He made it brought in the fish and now she's giving him a little snack. Well, let's see what she's going to do here. She's just kind of walking around here a little bit. We'll just kind of see what's going on here. We've been waiting for a while to get a good video of these babies and uh, by golly we finally got some sunlight and we're able to uh, make a video of it. Yeah, it looks like she's still uh, working on the fish. And the little guy, well he's just enjoying the sunshine now. Maybe I should uh, check around with me. I'll back off a little bit here. There we go. There she is. She's rearranging a little bit of the bedding in the nest, getting things squared away. See she steps over here and oh yeah. I'm kind of blocking the view of them now a little bit. She must decide that's time for breakfast. They're waiting for Papa to probably bring in a fresh one. There you can see his little head and his eye. Look at that. He's getting to be a big guy. Oh, yeah. Well, birds of prey grow very fast. It's amazing. Oh, yeah. You can see his beak in his eye. Yeah, he got a little snack there waking up. Yeah, you look at his head compared to Mom's there. He's a pretty good size already. All the other birds are chirping and singing a little bit here. There's his little head, look at him. Mom, I need more fish. There he's going to look how big he's getting. That is a big baby. We've waited a long time to see this guy. <laughs> now he's starting to get a little darker. See, he's not snow white anymore. And he'll slowly turn black and he'll be... Uh, Black and before he gets his white head like the adults, it'll be about five, six years. But see, he's starting to get a little dark under his neck and around on his head. But in another week or so, he'll be just totally black. And it's just amazing the transformation these birds go through and the rapid growth. The size is phenomenal. There's a good profile on her, and there's a little guy. Oh, yeah get him directly in the sunlight we'll get a good view of him there he is he's checking everything out here what a great day to come down and get a video of this guy there he's moving around a little bit stretching his wing out well here's our baby he's getting to be big he's sitting right next to mama you can see the heads are about the same now he's trying to show us his other end Oh yeah, he's going to turn around. Yeah, I'm amazed at how big he is. He's going to let one go here. That's how he keeps the nest clean. <laughs> now you can see the mama's yellow beak there. He just had crawled up the edge there and we got a good view of his head. So He's definitely a good sized baby. He's not pure white anymore. He's kind of a charcoal gray now. And there he's going. Yeah, he's going to preen up. Got his head turned around there doing the back of his wings and on his back. It doesn't take much, you know, every three days these guys really change. The growth is phenomenal. Look at that guy. Like I said, his head is uh, getting close to about the same size as hers. He's, uh, she's behind the tree now. And he's just kind of preening up. Alright, well, let's see. We'll let him look around. Maybe we'll see Papa holler and come in by here with a fish or something. We can come in a little more. There he got a profile on him. Look at that. Yeah. Well, there he is. Guy's mouth open. Might be a little bit warm there. And there's Mama's head. She's staying close to him and uh, probably just got done feeding him a fish. That's their main diet. Yeah, there's her head next to his. So he's got a little bit to go for. His head's as big as hers. But he's definitely growing. He's in that charcoal there's our young bald eagle. Look at this guy. Now he's showing off. Look how big his beak is and his wing. 
He says it's a hot one and I'm going to cool my wings off. Look how big those wings are. My goodness. See, he's about the same size as the adults now. But he's just uh, in his juvenile plumage. I don't know when he'll fly, but it shouldn't be, you know, a week or so. They'll exercise. They stay in the nest for quite a while, even though they're big. But take, they'll be exercising and exercising. Well, here's our young bald eagle having breakfast. Saw Mama fly in. I think it looked like a snake or something. Anyway, it wasn't that big and she dropped it off in the nest. She's over in her tree now. And he's eating away. Well, look at the size of his beak now. This guy has really grown. I'll back off a little bit. There we go. Well, it could have been a remains of a fish too, but look pretty thin. Anyway, whatever it is, he's enjoying it. Well, it's been a couple of days since we got a video of him. We've got filtered light this morning, and uh, this guy is looking pretty good. Oh yeah, let's see what he's got there. It almost looked like some fur there or something. So that was something that Mama had caught for him. He's finishing it up. You can see how dark the feathers are getting now, and uh, it's fully feathered on the wings of primaries. And last time we were here, he had quite a bit of downy feathers underneath, and he's getting all those squared away. I first showed up today, he was laying down in there sleeping, so. And when I uh, was getting ready to leave, I saw her fly in, so then I got set up quick. and. Uh, when we get to see this guy eating for the first time right up front here, we get a pretty good view of him. And this is our, oh yeah, he's taking it over to the edge. This is our bald eagle youngster. Enjoying the breakfast here. Like I say, the adult is in the tree over there where she fishes right above the Cedar River. She's on her perch, so. If a fish goes by, she'll dive down. Oh well, yeah, I can see the tail feathers today. Look at that. Getting everything is coming in just fine. He's kind of looking over towards his mama now. What a great deal this is. I can hear him calling a little bit. Well, it looks like he's just about finished eating. Well, here's one of our adult bald eagles right next to the nest. Baby's in there preening. She's over here. She's got her wing just kind of drying off. Tells me she must have made a dive in the river and got a fish earlier, and she's just drying off. She's looking over towards the west. We'll see if uh, she'll turn around. Now, the mate is sitting behind the trunk of the tree. So they're both hunting the Cedar River this morning. And the baby, well, he's in there. Well, if you can call him a baby, he's about as big as they are now. The juvenile, there you can see her profile. The juvenile's in the nest preening up and uh, and is the same size as the adults. Oh yeah, rousting up, look at that. All spread out here and drying off the feathers. How great is that? Well, we come down here early and you can really see some great things. Now she's gonna dry off and preen a little bit. It's a great spot for eagle watching. We're just right on the Maple Valley Highway, 169 and 140th way southeast, Renton, Washington, right across from the golf course. And it's just a great time to come down. They have one chick this year, and the nest is right here and easy to find, and you get all these great views of this bird. It's fantastic. All right, we'll call that pretty much good then. See if he'll do the eagle dance for us. He's just kind of waking up. He's looking over there towards Mama. He's anticipating a fish dinner here, or fish meal. We got pretty good sunlight. There he goes. He's going to show off them wings. Look how big. Now he's doing the eagle dance. Check this out. Look at that wonderful size of them wings. See, he's trying to exercise those muscles so he can uh, 
be ready for the day when he takes that first flight. And like I said, we don't know when that's going to be, but he sure is looking good. Yeah, he's going to show off a little bit now. Oh, yeah, he's uh, going to dance a little more for us here. Flap those big wings. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. We have good lighting, and this eagle here is thinking about flying and exercising and just showing off those wonderful wings. His favorite call. Now, oh, here's the wings again. Check this out. A little more flapping here. And jumping up and down showing off looking really good our lighting is really good exercising those wings getting everything strong now this is a big chick now full grown you can see the thigh feathers are colored in now he doesn't look like he's wearing bloomers anymore with the white feathers how wonderful is that there he's calling He's wanting a little little snack, I think. He's hoping Mama will hear him. We'll keep our eye on him. He's looking up. Yeah, he's looking up and down the river, trying to see. Him. Oh yeah, Mama flew by. That's what he's calling. I see her in the air now. She's turning. And coming back. So let's see what the interaction here is going to be. All right, Mama's overhead. I think he sees her. He's looking up. She's circling around. You know, she's around here somewhere. There he sees her off in the distance. She kind of slipped by him a little bit. Yeah, he sees her. She's way off in the distance now, so he's got that disappointed look. <laughs> Where's my fish? Oh, there's his wings. Look at that. Now he's going to exercise. Look at this guy, would you? He's caught the breeze now. Oh, yeah. Look how big those wings are. Isn't that wonderful? Bald eagle, right down here, renting, washing across from the golf course, just about ready to fledge. Look at the size of them wings in a perfect spot. He's doing the wing dance now. All right, that's what we've been waiting for. How wonderful was that? Oh yeah, he's gonna spread them out again here. He feels that wind in his wings that energizes him and he flaps them and strengthens up. So, well, that was great. Now he's kind of settling down again, facing into the wind. Oh, he's going to do it again. Look at this guy. Oh, he's attracted the crow's attention now. <laughs> yeah, he looks really good. That's absolutely wonderful. We were waiting for that. Oh, yeah, he's checking everything out. Now he's grabbing with his feet, testing out his talons. There's his wings again. Look at this guy. Now he's pumping them. There we go. Grabbed on tight with his talons so he doesn't sail out. Give it a couple exercise beats there. Oh, yeah. He looks really good here. This is a really magnificent bird. We're just so happy to have this spot here to make videos. He's been showing off really good. There you can see the white feathers under his wings, too. So there he goes he hopped back down in the nest now back off a little bit and there he is flapping in the nest exercising so he came back to the safety of the nest now so he's done with his exercise session he's in there looking for food scraps so he's hungry he's waiting for mom to bring him something well here's our young bald eagle he's left the nest tree now 
He's sitting over here, oh, about 50 yards from the nest tree in a, on a dead limb looking for the adults. I heard them call earlier. They're out trying to catch a fish. And he's all proud of himself. He can fly now. So he uh, sleeps up in the nest tree at night and then in the morning flies over here and they still feed him in the nest and he goes back there. But he's uh, coming along really good. He's fledged now and he's found himself a favorite tree to sit in and he can watch everything, see the fish in the river and watch the adults. So he's just sitting out here now in the, in the early morning sunlight and he's keeping an eye on everything. Oh yeah, now look at him look. I think he sees one of the adults. And we're lucky we may see him spread his wings, but he's definitely uh, checking things out. He heard her call earlier, so there he's looking. We've been watching this eaglet here for all season, ever since spring when they first put in the eggs. See what he's going to do here now. Oh, yeah, he's going to flop them wings a little bit. Check this out. Yeah. Maybe we'll get lucky and see him fly out of here. But uh, adults have been calling, and he's been keeping an eye out for them. So it's about time for his breakfast. So he wants to... Uh, be right in the right spot. There he's looking again. Look at that, would you? Showing off those wonderful wings there. Yeah, he's grown into a good looking eagle. Good, healthy, bald eagle here. And able to fly from the nest tree over here now and back and forth. So he's got his wings all strong and ready to go. They only had one this year, so. But he seems to be quite healthy, so they took really good care of him, and uh, he's well fed, we know that. All right, then, we'll call that good. There he's calling to Mama. He's wanting some. There he flies, all right, going back to the nest tree. 